Oh man, there's like, I can't even create space with this. I'm Rachel and welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. So a couple weeks ago you guys got to see my face and body scan and now it's time to add some movement. I'm here at the 2K motion capture facility and I'm about to go suit up and get some shots in myself. Hi, Rachel. Welcome to 2K MoCap. Nice to officially meet you. Your suit's all ready, so once you suit up, I'll meet you at the bartering station. Cool. I'm excited. I headed straight into my dressing room to put on my high fashion and oh-so-flattering motion capture suit. Okay, let's be honest here. The thing is pretty itchy and made me look like an avatar, but it's all for the yeah, cause. You're all right with, like, all the Velcro, are you? Well, I guess I have to be, right? Yeah. <laughs> After suiting up, I headed to the marker station where they velcroed these tiny balls strategically on my body. These markers reflect the light in the motion capture studio, and these reflections allow the movement to be identified and processed by computers to capture the animations of my body. Whoa! <laughs> to the window, to the wall! But all I really cared about was getting on the court to play. Damn it, damn it. Get your shoes. <laughs> you are ready. Woo! Thank you. Action. Once I got into the gym, I was instructed to do a basic package of shots and dribble moves, similar to what the NBA guys go through when they come to mocap. After we finished all the skill work, I got to have a little fun with my signature walk in celebration. And since I was feeling and looking like the Pink Panther, I just had to do something cat related. By the end of my session, I was sweating like crazy and felt like I had gone through a true basketball drill session. Then along comes a seven footer to school me in the post. Hey, what's up, Ryan? How you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is this your first time in a suit? This is my first time in a suit. I feel like a big tennis ball. Can you teach me a cool post move? That's like something like your signature move. So right on this left block, mm -hmm. catch, observe, one dribble, jump hook. There you go. Ah! What is that? A hundred dollar move, ten cent finish? Is that what it's called? <laughs> no. <A> million dollar <laughs> move with a five dollar finish. Hey, you're in the NBA, so maybe you use different terms than what I used to use. <laughs> we don't know about millions. <laughs> so can I teach you a move now? Let's see what you got. Jab step here, jab step again, step here to step back. Okay. To a jump shot. See, I'm much better out in that area. So jab. Yeah. There you go. So where did you grow up? Uh, Pasadena. Oh, so you grew up in LA and then you ended up playing in LA. Yeah. That's awesome. And you were in LA last year. Yeah, two years. Yeah. So how do you like Sacramento? I love it. Yeah? I like it. I like the people, the pace, slow motion, get away from everything. Still, our flight from home, so That's I like cool. it. So when you were growing up, where was your favorite place play? Were you like a park guy or did you like playing organized ball? Man, I, I played everywhere. I didn't play organized ball until my sophomore year in high school. Whoa. So we would play in the backyard, at the parks, at the high school. We hopped the fences, ride our bikes, like <laughs> all over the city. Like that's just all we did, just basketball, basketball, basketball. And you didn't play organized until sophomore year? Yeah, sophomore year. Did you have dreams of being in the NBA before your sophomore year? Yeah, I mean, I grew up as a kid. That was my dream, being in the NBA. I actually got cut. Freshman year, I was cut. And I always wanted to play, but I never had the opportunity to play organized. Yeah. There wasn't as much AU and all that. You know, mm -hmm. now you see a tall kid, you're like, you know, come play with me. We right. didn't have that. So, you know, it was always a dream. So, you know, once I made the team, I was like, I was locked in. 
That's awesome. I'm sure that there's, you know, a lot of kids who have started since they could walk playing ball, so that's pretty amazing. Yeah. So on an off day and no basketball day. No basketball what's day. What's going on? Uh, I'm at the house playing some games. Honestly, yeah? playing some games, watching some movies, playing some 2K. Yeah. Making sure my rating gets up. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite mode in 2K? Um, I like to play online. Just okay. saying about the competition online. Um, you want to be the best. And yeah. You, kind of the online players know they make you good. It's like they're going to show you a move or they're going to be doing something that's, mm -hmm. you know, hot in the game that, you know, helps you to be the best. That's cool. You want to be the best, you got to play the best. Yeah. You no, know, it's warfare. See, that's then when you go play your friends, you kill your friends because you're battle tested <laughs> online. So do your NBA friends. Do they um, do they play at all? Do you play against them? Yeah, yeah. Like who? Me and DC, we've got a little rivalry going. Uh, Jared okay. Dudley, you know, okay. playing with Jared Dudley and uh, you know a couple other guys. But uh, you know, two K is a hot game. It's, and who's the champ though? Who's the champ? You know, the the best person I've seen is probably DC. DC is pretty good. He I came heard. by the office practicing before the game even came out. That's him. That sounds like him. That sounds like him. <laughs> so no I think that we should have you and DC to the office together. DC's going to be sick to his head. stomach when I beat him. When I figure this game out and I beat him and I talk with the makers and see the moves, all I need to know is how to make layups, <laughs> post moves. That's all I need. Post moves, open jumpers. And anything else you kind of want to mention? I'm a simple guy. I love kids. And your aim. It's, a, it's a passion. I love what I'm doing. Um, for the kids out there, I was once that. Mm -hmm. Nine or ten year old kid playing video games, and you know, it's, it's just amazing seeing myself in the game. And today, I'm really, really in the game. One of the kids I work with, they go, Coach, I was playing with you in the game, and, and I had 50 points with you in the game, or something like that, you know. So, you know, every time you get that, that's really cool. So, one piece of advice for kids who may want to be in your shoes one day dream big, believe in yourself, stick with it. That's so. for watching the show guys make sure you stay tuned because we have a lot more tips and a lot more interviews coming up for you so I'll see you soon